life and the universe itself are not the work of blind chance and all things living or otherwise were created by Almighty God All the fossils unearthed from excavations reveal that in all periods of history, living things were created in a perfect and complete manner with no evolutionary forerunners. Fossils in strata in the Cambrian period, dating back some 600 million years, once again prove that highly complex living species appeared suddenly on Earth without any ancestors. In other words, they were created. The fossil record is now sufficiently rich for us to understand the true origin of life. It shows us that at no time in the past did living things ever undergo any process of transition from the primitive to the more highly developed. On the contrary, each species appeared suddenly on Earth with the same complex structure and features as its counterparts alive today. Evolutionists who have been digging up all the Earth's strata in the hope of finding evidence for their theory for the past 150 years or so have in fact themselves exhumed proof that demonstrates that their theory is false and instead that creation is an indisputable fact. From time to time, newspapers and magazines carry reports with such headlines as 200 million year old mosquito fossil discovered, 30 million year old lizard unearthed. Readers of such reports may think that there is something special about such events, that such fossils are discovered only rarely. But the truth is very different. A large part of the Earth's strata is full of fossilized specimens of life forms that existed millions of years ago. A great many of these have been unearthed and placed under protection in countries' museums. Yet such fossils are constantly being unearthed in excavations today. Hundreds of thousands of fossilized spiders, ants, flies, scorpions, crabs and frogs, all millions of years old, and fossils of a great many other species, some extinct and others not, are stored away in museums. Yet their huge numbers are not reflected in any books or newspapers. Scientific journals, forums, and discussion panels never refer to them. And why not? Because every fossil discovered by itself constitutes a fresh piece of evidence arguing against the theory of evolution. 
Every fossil specimen found is sufficiently persuasive to destroy the theory to which Darwinists have dedicated their lives. For the same reason, some evolutionists have tried to keep such fossils well concealed. Even today, evolutionists are still resorting to the same methods of covering up evidence that disproves their theory. The most significant examples of living fossils once discovered are quietly hidden away. If all these fossils concealed in museum storage were made available for public examination, the truth would clearly emerge. Yet most scientists lack the courage to take such a step because it would totally demolish the theory of evolution. But any theory that must conceal the contradictory scientific evidence and seek to establish its credentials through fraud and deception has in any case declared its own bankruptcy. Evolutionists are well aware that all the scientific evidence collected shows that the evolutionary process is nothing more than a myth. Living fossils, and indeed all other species living today, are the work of God, the Lord and Creator of all things, who created them millions of years ago and has preserved them in their perfect forms right down to the present. Throughout history, Darwinists have been terrified that this manifest truth would come to light. But this clear and indisputable fact is now plain for all to see. And all Darwinists' endeavors in the face of it have been in vain. Falsehood has been eradicated by the truth, and God, Lord of all the worlds, has once again revealed His greatness and might in the most perfect way. We did not create heaven and earth and everything in between them as a game. If we had desired to have some amusement, we would have derived it from our presence, but we did not do that. Rather, we hurl the truth against falsehood, and it cuts right through it, and it vanishes clean away. Woe without end for you for what you portray.